China's international reserves stood at around $6.6 .6 billion at the end of September. Invariably, we only had three months of import cover. But government is looking forward to changing our balance of payments. The answer is using gold to buy oil as a battle system. If that happens, we are going to see some figures here dropping. And that is what government hopes to do beginning next year. But how feasible is this particular strategy? Not when you are in hardship as we are. Uh, now as it is, it's a very bad move. If people know that gold is sold at a certain price, if you are selling it, you are buying it in cities, it has to be the equivalent of that price in cities. Now, you have borrowed money at 35% to buy what? Gold. To do what with? To sell. To whom? Your money you borrow at 35% has decreased the value of the, the, the gold hold you are holding by 35%. You understand? Because you have to make up. The gold is 1,750, it doesn't change. You bought it from him. But the money you're using to buy it, you added 35% to it which means you have to add it to the price of the gold you are going to sell. Nobody will buy it. You have to set up an agency to buy this gold, right? Uh -huh. You find out what's going to happen. They will steal all the money. That's it. The overhead in that agency, the people who work there to make sure it is the right gold and it's not stolen, they will steal all the money. That's the thing. It means your overhead is gone. You're better off selling the gold and buy your oil. That agency alone will stop you from doing it.